Yo, Visant here. So, 7 star Terror Raid Charizard events coming out soon, right? And we're gonna have Dragon Terra. So, I'm gonna go over the best mons or at least some viable choices that you can use here. And I'll give you my opinion. So, Fire, Flying, obviously, gonna have those moves, and Dragon, and it's gonna be boosted by the Dragon Terra. Then we also have some ground moves you can learn, right? Like Bulldoze. I think you learned Dig as well and Earthquake. Then we have some Rock Move, Rock Tomb, Rock Slide, uh, Sandstorm, whatever. It, I doubt it because it has Solar Power, which Summon Sunny Day, which most likely is going to have. And since it's going to be using Dragon Terra, it mostly will have coverage like Iron Tail, Metal Claw. And then it can also learn Solar Beam, like right? one of the grass moves. It can also learn some fight moves like Focus Blast, Brick Break, Ghost moves like Shadow Claw as well. I think that's the only Ghost move it learned, actually. It can learn, I mean. It also learned Thunder Punch, which is the only lightning electric move that it can learn. Yeah. And I think that's mostly it for the moves typing at least what it can learn that I hope oh it learns bite right as well so let's go over some of the mods that I have made here obviously a lot of people are talking to Azumarill right the Azumarill can pretty much is a fairy type which will resist um dragon and also it has water which resists fire the only thing and also, okay, so obviously these combos, you just have neutral against steel. The only thing you need to worry about is that the solar beam, right? The solar beam can like destroy you. Thunder punch, maybe, but it's not really a physical attacker, but it can have thunder punch, right? So that's one thing to worry about. But solar beam is super strong with a special attack as well. This is a special attacker. So uh, you have rain dance in here just to make it so it's like two turns instead of one turn. And it also lowers the fire, right, for Sunny Day. And I'm thinking if I want to run Protect. I'm not sure how well Protect runs in the raids. But, like, if you run Rain Dance and then if it's Solar Beams, it'll wait a turn and you can run Protect. So I might replace Play, I mean, Waterfall with Protect just for the raid. But for now, this is what I have just so I can run this overall in general with other raids. Not just for Charizard and stuff like that. But that is my train of thought for Azumarill. I'm running huge power with Metronome just because I'm going to be spamming a lot of play roughs. But Shell Bell will be good because you want to belly drum and heal up too. So that's an option. I probably will change it eventually. I feel like Shell Bell will probably be a better choice. Um, there's also this, right? Dust Bun. The well baked body allows it to raise its defenses by two. And. That uh, when it get hit by a fire move, and so it pretty much neutralized fire, right? But the only weakness is steel, and I feel like it will have steel coverage against fairies because it's a dragon terror. I feel like they will have that just because metal claw, iron tail, even th even though it would be a special attacker. But if we actually go back to sword and shield, right? There, there was. In the Mewtwo raid, there was like three instances where it actually has like a special attacker Mewtwo and then like two special attacker Mewtwo's and then like maybe I, I don't know if one of them was like more support-ish, but they have they're gonna have different variations. I feel like it's gonna do that the same here. So if if they have physical attacking one, uh it's gonna be dangerous. They probably have like Thunder Punch and like Metal Claw and iron tail and stuff like that so just be wary that's why i have multiple ones like if it's gonna be a physical it probably had thunder punch and stuff you might have to bring something else so these are like my two attacking options um if it, it can also have shadow claw right i have two honorable mentions like with flutter main and like stream tail i guess they would only be weak against like the steel and or ghosts i guess but I, I I'm running more defensive, just in case. <laughs> so yeah, this would be good because it gives you defensive. It doesn't have any like buffing skills, unfortunately. So I have like helping hand, play rough, and then I don't know. I just ran like rest in case I needed heal or something. 
All right, so we also have Grim Snarl, which is weak against Steel, if anything. I do need to change this to Prankster, so I'll probably do that. But I have Spirit Break to lower the special attack, and then I have Reflect and Light Screen just for defensive purposes. And the problem, the problem is with Charizard, most likely do Dragon Dance or like some kind of buffing skill and stuff like that. And sunny day or whatever i have taunt right this is the only i think this is the the better pokemon to use to bring for taunt because obviously berserker has taunt and stuff like that but this one would be a fairy type with taunt so that would be a good choice just for dragon dance i feel like you might need this <laughs> i'm also running the dende because it also resists flying right the others don't resist flying this resists flying uh, pretty much everything but the steel. I mean, not steel, but ground, right? So if it has Earthquake, Bulldoze, and stuff like that, then that's going to be your only worry. But other than that, this is helpful. It has Rain Dance too, right? To lower the fire. It's neutral against fire. So Rain Dance to ne neutralize the fire. Um, and the Helping Hand to help out. Light Screen for the special. This is mostly just against the special Charizard. And it has Draining Shit. just like, took damage. Uh, Cheeky Pouch is the only one that's like kind of good for raids. And I don't know what berry to use right now. I'm using Lumberry. I'll probably put in like if I hit by ground or something, it'll take half less. I don't know, man. It doesn't have buffing skills, though, so I'm worried. But those are the main mods. I would build Resumeral for sure because it'll be neutral against steel moves and stuff like that. Only thing you need to worry about Solar Beam, but you can like Rain Dance and Run Protect because you have a tur turn to prep. I don't know how it's gonna work like if they do solar beam charge and then with the next person that doesn't attack a hit <laughs> so that that could also be a thing so you just could keep an eye out most likely it'll tell you a warning that it'll be like yo it's charging up the next attack and whatever um this also gonna learn rain dance but since it's resistant to fire anyways i don't know it might not but i guess, I guess they can still solar beam you <laughs> for neutral damage so i don't know maybe you can run solar beam i have baby doll eyes against the steel moves so the spread for all of these is hp and whatever their attack is gradient gradient like this this i'm running special attack and then these are obviously regular attack because i'm running huge power here obviously you can also run tap zipper as well for hidden ability so it's a good ability patch for that and then you be you can't even take grass attacks so that's also a thing but then you lose the power right but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, it's just a quick short one. Just my my take on this thus far. I'm just worried about that Dragon Dance, man. You might have to, someone just have to bring a Grim Snarl. I have these built, so feel free to come by the stream. Uh, we'll test it out on the day it drops. So later days. <laughs>